Hey everyone, it's Myra. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today we're going to make a snack. We're not going to pressure cook. We're not going to air fry. This is uh, just something I have on a rare occasion. And uh, it's going to be queso. And to make the queso, we're going to use uh, some Velveeta cheese, about half of that block. I know some people use, you know, we'll use like real cheddar or mixes of cheeses, but I use the Velveeta. Uh, and then some people either use the Rotel diced tomatoes or the uh, Hormel chili. I do without beans. Uh, I found that using both it tastes really good and that's what we're gonna go with today so uh, stick around and we're gonna make some chili and uh, taste it out so first we're gonna get started with the Velveeta and uh, this is 32 ounces I only need 16 but it's so much cheaper to buy the big block so that's what I'm going with also um, although I didn't do it here I found sometimes that it's easy if you stick this in the freezer for maybe uh, you know 20 minutes half hour uh, it makes it so it doesn't stick as much to the blade uh, which is helpful so I'm gonna cut this about in half wherever a half is put that aside for the next time open this up sometimes you don't even need a cutting board I will uh, just cut it on top of this tin foil and you want to make the cubes about one inch so that's uh, smaller than an inch, but the smaller the make the cubes, the easier it is to microwave after. It uh, will cook a little faster. Cook time uh, is only supposed to be about five minutes. Uh, you know, you cook it like half of that, and then you stir everything to cook it. But but since I am adding um, the rotel and the chili, it uh, does take a little longer. Now, as you see, I have this cut like this. I am gonna cut these in half, maybe thirds. And cut them into cubes. Now, I mentioned microwaving this in a bowl, um, which makes it much easier. Uh, you can do it in a crock pot. I've done it in a crock pot before. Uh, it does take a while for the crock pot to, to heat up. And, uh, you know and then the cleanup is a little messier I only have the small one quart crock pot this uh, recipe calls for a two quart uh, microwavable dish I probably could get away with using a three uh, be simply because of uh, the extra ingredients in fact when I go to cook this it will uh, tend to boil over but uh, you know we'll keep it under control You can see how it's sticking here. And like I said, if you freeze that a little bit, and there's different types of knife, probably if I had a, a cheese type knife, uh, where it kind of separate, it's kind of the way it's beveled and cut, it would stick less. Can't forget those. All right. I always use a manual can opener, but this was a gift, so I'm gonna try it. Pop it on here, press. Okay. Not to make two move around, it just kind of separates the top out. As you can see here. Uh, spread this around here. All right, that's good. And uh, this uh, Hormel. They didn't have this, this is usually a slightly smaller can, so I probably could get away with just putting half in there. But by the time I get to using the other half, it's probably gonna go bad. So I'm gonna see if I can't just uh, fit this in. Got a three pack of these uh, silicone tip ones, easy to clean. And uh, you could separate it like that. Actually, some water came out, we just washed these. And this came out easy. It's probably because it's a little warm in the house. And it uh, decided to cut out. Okay. Now, this is filled to the top. Now, there are some air spaces in there because of the, um, the cheese. So, I'm going to kind of pat this down a little bit. Now, one thing when you microwave this, you need to leave a vent hole. So, I pull off this vent piece altogether. Or you could just kind of turn it off to the side. Either way, I'll take it off. It's going to come in contact with the food, so I'm just going to put it lightly on. Uh, like I said, this needs about six minutes. And um, 
then we will uh, stir it up and I'll do it in you know after three minutes and then after that six minutes sometimes there's still some cubes in there and you're gonna heat it up a little more but we're gonna start at three minutes of full power oh just went shopping today use that as a bread box sometimes if it's a uh, fresh bread and we're gonna check this out in three minutes all right nowhere near done and it's probably hot so i'm just gonna actually flip the lid over inside yeah it's kind of hot and just kind of try to do a little mixing let that go another three minutes okay we got our six minutes let's give it a go and see what it looks like Cover's way hot, that's for sure. I'm not making a mess because it's over full. Cheese still has a little bit to melt, so I'm going to put it in there just a little bit longer. Maybe uh, 45 seconds. So here we go. All right. Let's mix this up a little bit. I'm really going to have to get myself a three quart container or make quarter portions or something. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. Why would I make three quarter portions? I'm just gonna try to mix up the rest of this because I could see there's still a lot of cheese not mixed. Something you could do on top of here or you can mix it in. I know that the diced tomatoes has a lot of the spices but you could put some uh, fresh green onion or uh, some cilantro on top if you want to make it all proper. Not worried about proper right now. I'm worried about goodness. Okay, and that's pretty mixed up. I like to use Tostito scoops because uh, it allows me to make sure I get my uh, queso or enough queso in my chip. That's cool. Might have to open a new bag so I can get more unbroken chips. I gotta pick up a new bag of those too. <clears throat> I like to make nachos too. I'll have to do that next. Huh. That's good guys. And uh, what would uh, nachos be? October 1st with a uh, without a Sam Oktoberfest. That's good too, so it's simple. Velveeta, although you can really use real cheeses, I use the Velveeta, it's simpler. Uh, the Rotel, and also uh, the chili with no beans for my taste. That's how I prefer it. Um, so, this is a good late night snack. And uh, my wife and I enjoy eating this. We used to go to Chili's all the time. She's waving. We used to go to Chili's all the time and always used to get the queso. We became good friends with everyone. And then they closed it down and they opened up a, a British Beer Works. And just, it's not the same. We like our chili. The only other person who had chili that we liked before then was Iguana Cantina in Waltham. But they closed down too. It's owned by Cactus Club or something like that. So all the chilies closed around us. And so this is what we're you know, stop doing. And don't get me wrong, this is good. It's just sometimes you like to go out and get that queso. Margarita's queso is so-so. We enjoy this a little bit more. So anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and click that little bell near the subscribe button so you'll see when I post these up. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me. Donna's waving. Donna.